praise the lord everyone welcome to the other 167 i hope all of you are doing well and uh, let's uh, read a word from the bible which is in ezra chapter 5 ezra chapter 5 verse 1 onwards then the prophet hagai and zechariah the son of ido prophets prophesied to the jews who were in juda and jerusalem in the name of god in the name of the god of israel who was over them <clears throat> So Zerubbabel the son of Sheltiel and Jeshua the son of Josedak rose up and began to build the house of God which is in Jerusalem and the prophets of God were with them helping them so here we see in the book of Ezra chapter 5 that um, Haggai and Zechariah came and started prophesying what is prophecy prophecy is encouraging in the lord now 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 i want you to understand what they were doing here what they what they were prophesying now before this chapter 5 what had happened was the enemy the people of the land had came against the leaders of israel and those who were building the house of god the temple of god and they made them cease the work of building the house of god so the house of god was being built up but the enemy came and attacked the people of god the leaders of israel and they stopped building the house of god but chapter 5 says the prophets came and the work of the house of god again started what is the prophetic ministry prophetic ministry is encouraging people praying and giving them prayer backup giving the pastors and the church prayer backup interceding for them so and encouraging them that you should continue to the continue to build the house of god because the enemy cannot stop the work of god why the prophets can prophesy in such manner because the prophets are intercessors when they are telling people you don't worry you continue to build the house of god and the enemy will not be able to harm you they are having the backup of intercession they are prophesying in such a way because they are interceding for god's people and interceding and encouraging the leaders to continue to build the house of god to continue to build the church okay now i want you to take, i want you to take you to <clears throat> another verse in genesis chapter 26 so here the benefit for the leaders for zerubbabel and jeshua the leaders of the house of israel who were building the house the the benefit for them that they received the benefit of the prophetic ministry prophets came and encouraged them and gave them the prayer backup now when we read genesis chapter 26 <clears throat> verse 19 onwards <clears throat> also isaac's servant dug in the well and found a well of running water there but the herdsmen of gerar quarreled with isaac's herdsmen saying the water is ours <clears throat> so he called the name of the we- of the well esek because they quarreled with him Then they dug another well and they quarreled over the one also so he called its name Sitna and he moved from there and dug another well and they did not quarrel over it and so he called its name Rehoboth because he said for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land so here again Isaac is digging a well and when he dug a well and the water came out the enemy came and took over but isaac did not stop he continued to dig the well he dug another well and again the enemy came and took over the well and all the hard work that isaac had done to dig the well it was taken over by the enemy the waters were taken over by the enemy but the bible says he again dug a well and this time the enemy did not come now this signifies building the house of god in a specific territory when you are doing god's ministry and building his church the territorial powers demonic powers will come to stop you this is what happened with the with zerubbabel and jeshua in the book of ezra the enemy came and stopped them but they the prophets came and again the work started but here in this case isaac was digging the well and the enemy came and stopped him but isaac did not sit crying oh they have taken over my work they are hating me they are doing this but he continued the, to dig the well now where was the prophetic ministry there where were the prophets here isaac became a prophet to himself hallelujah in the new testament in these times 
the lord is saying the holy spirit is speaking to us that become a prophet for yourself encourage yourself pray for your own life don't stop if the enemy is stopping you hallelujah amen in the last days that the the holy spirit the lord will pour out his spirit on all flesh that even your sons and daughters might prophesy everyone is called in the prophetic ministry prophetic ministry is not only going and prophesying on people or coming on the stage on the pulpit or doing ministry be a prophet to your own self don't stop when the enemy is attacking you isaac did not stop he did not add prophets you can cry oh there is no one to encourage me but i want to tell you encourage yourself strengthen yourself in the lord and keep on moving ahead hallelujah those of you who are trying who are who are doing god's work who are building his church who are in ministry i want to tell you it will not be that you will not face any inconvenience the enemy will attack you to stop you hallelujah but a time will come where the enemy will get exhausted when you don't give up when you become a prophet to yourself hallelujah there are terri territorial powers which attacks people who try to build god's kingdom they discourage these powers these principalities these demons discourage they bring attacks in those people's life they bring divisions but today in the name of jesus they are losing their power because jesus said i will build my church and the gates of hades shall not prevail against it hallelujah so this is what i want to give this message on this wonderful platform that you become a prophet to yourself hallelujah the enemy will not be able to stop you if you, you if you yourself won't stop and give up there, there will come a time where the enemy who was attacking you for the first time he attacked you the second time the third time he will be exhausted because you are continuing to resist him and he shall flee away hallelujah submit to god resist the devil and he will flee away resistance is not one time process it's a continuous process Dear saints of God I want to encourage you with this word God bless you